Moms, welcome back to Mama Slimmy. And in today's video, we're gonna try to make some Mama Slimmy shoes. I'm going to start this video by saying two very important things. One, I've never done shoes before. I have no idea how this is going to work. And um, so we're not going to call it a tutorial to start with because it may be a disaster. You'll know by the title if it turned out okay or not. Um, and the second thing is this is going to be a very long process uh, because um, you have to, I'm going to paint the shoes first and then I'm going to do vinyl. And then I have to use a sealant to make them, you know, weather resistant and that sort of thing. Um, and that takes a really long time because you have to do multiple coats of the sealant and stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to do my very best to keep this video from being six hours. And the only thing I'm going to do in this particular part, Cthulhu and I, is um, I'm just going to focus on trying to paint them. Okay. So again, I have no experience and this is going to be a long process. Um, I didn't do a lot of research. Melinda did some research on the sealant, um, kind of told me what to buy, so I bought some. It's, it's a type of Mod Podge uh, spray that you can use. I'm probably going to have to do the spray maybe in the garage. I don't know about doing it in a room like this. We'll see how it goes. kind of close to where my baby sleeps. Okay, so my, my goal with this, first of all, I thought it would just be very cute, and I've never made shoes. I thought it would be fun. Um, and these this was the style that we picked, just kind of like a... You know, I don't know. Ooh, got soft on the inside. I got these off Amazon. Um, Melinda's shoe, if you'll notice, is substantially smaller than mine. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to attempt to make our shoes look like watercolor. Um, and I'm going to do that by using um, some water and my paintbrushes and then the colors and just trying to, like, make them kind of look like watercolor. Again, I have no freaking idea how this is going to work. I'm kind of actually thinking maybe I should go get my sponges. I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm going to use some sponges. Again, I have no freaking idea how any of this is going to work. It's going to be a learning experience. All right. start with Melinda's. So Melinda is the girlier colors. His that hasn't been real obvious. Uh, anyway, so I have some, um, mm, I have a couple different pinks. They have like a darker kind of pink, a little baby pink. And then I have some of this purple that's left that's got a little bit of metallic in it. But, um, white I can dilute it I was thinking I also have like another set of like light and uh, dark purple so we'll see I again I have no idea what I'm doing so I'm I guess first I'll do I'll do purple so here's I'll, I'll start with my first my, my initial plan my initial plan will be to do the purple all over um, and then I'll set it off to the side and then I'll do the other and then hopefully by then I'll be able to work on pink and I'll be able to get both of that, both of those done for this time. So anyway, let's see how it goes. I'm not even going to mess with that one. I'm trying to use this. I'm so wasteful with paint is like the worst. Only some of them have little that's dumb. Anyway, do some light purple. Some dark. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's some dark pink. Um, Cause I'm gonna kind of mix it in with the purples. And then for good measure, I'll put a little white on here if I need to water, um, water if I need to lighten anything up. Cool. So this is what our super fancy crafting palette looks like. And I already lost my sponge. I'm off to a really good start. Oh, there it is. All right, and here we go. Should be fun. I'm, I'm super pumped about it. It's gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna dip my sponge in the water. And squeegee some of the excess out. I don't want it to be too watery, soak into the shoe, and well, be a disaster in general. Maybe we'll do a, how many times does Angel say the word, it's going to be a disaster in this video. All right, so we're going to take some purple, and I'm just going to kind of blot it around. I'm going to move my water a little bit closer. So I'm taking a paintbrush. I'm just dipping it in water. Uh, like aggressively so but just enough to get it like wet and I'm going back over because the the problem with using those sponges is that they they just create too much um, like definitive shape which is not the look we're going for so I'm just gonna have to like repaint over some of this which is not like a huge deal It'd be fine mm -hmm. I'm just kind of going in circles and like, I'm not worried about it getting on the rubber. I'm too lazy to put something to prevent it, but I'm just going to take alcohol and get it off. That is the benefit of using acrylic paint. Anyway. All right. So I got rid of most of my circle shapes, which is what I was trying to accomplish. Now I'm just going to do it on this side. Ugh. I mean... It's definitely purple. I'm gonna ask you, Carla. Um, when I'm done doing like the bait, the this stuff, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna outline these details in dark purple, and probably do these in light purple. But that's gonna have to be done after I do the other parts because it's just gonna run over it a bunch of times. Otherwise, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this color. Just a couple of dollops of her in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's my purple so far. I'm so sorry ahead of time, but I gotta film when I have time, and right now, uh, Rick also has to do the, the yard. So, alright, so that's her purple. I feel like the camera doesn't really pick up the watercolor look, but I promise it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. So my shoes... This is going to come as a huge shock to everyone. Um, so my shoes are going to be teal and green. I've got a lot more space to paint on mine. Let me go put these somewhere safe. So, Linda actually just got me some new paints. Not for this, but it works out. Teal and green. Um, now, this is a glow in the dark green. I'm not going to make my shoes glow in the dark. It's not going to work once I mix all these together, but this green is too dark. But this is beautiful. If everything in my world could be teal, man, I'd be so happy. It's like that song. That would be done day. All right, so I need another piece of cardboard because I've been getting so many things, ordering so many things. I uh, plenty of cardboard, which is good. I didn't use my white at all, but I think that's okay because I I like the way the purples went together, so I don't feel. 
Was it FOMO? I don't feel like I'm, I feel like I'm all good. All right, so let's do, gosh, this teal is so pretty. I think I'm gonna do mine the opposite, and I think I'm gonna do, mm, mm, no, I'll do the, the dark, dark teal. Yeah, I'll do the dark, I'll do the teal on the back. And the green, and the, no, I'm gonna do the green. I can't make my mind. The reason is because teal is my favorite color, and when you're wearing your shoes, you see the front of them more than the back. I like green too. No shade, but it's not teal. It's missing that special oomph for me. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with these colors. I'm going to do some green. Oh, it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. And then this color. I don't know how much of it I'm going to use. I'm going to use some white to kind of lighten up that green. Um, the other green. Yuck. 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 Okay. So, let's do this thing. Okay, so, I have got our heels done, I think. It's my green. They look a lot smoother in person. Probably sounds like a cop out, doesn't it? Like, yeah, sure it does, but it does. I'm gonna, um, I did see some paint swatches over here that I don't like the way they look. They look a little uneven, so we're gonna fix that. Just takes a second for that water to get in the groove of things, and then it fixes a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Super helpful. All right, cool. I like that a little bit better. It looks so weird for a second. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so I've got Melinda's over there drying. I'm about to add mine to the mix. Um, and then um, I'm going to stop this part of the video and uh, do the other part um, when these are dry. And I'm going to do, you know, pink on the front of Melinda's. I'm going to do teal on the front of mine. And when I come back to this part later, there we go, that looks a lot better. I just didn't like the way the brush strokes looked. It looked very odd, patchy, and not in a productive way. Anyway, so um, when I come back to do the top, the front colors, I'll do, um, I'll already have the decals and stuff ready. So I'll plan on doing the front of the shoe, we'll let that dry. When everything is dry, then I'll do the decals and, um, or no, I'm sorry, I'll take a smaller brush and I'll outline. So for these, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to outline in green, probably that light green, and then I'll do these teal, um, and then I'll do Melinda's in the pink and purple as well. And then after all of that is dried, then I'll do the vinyl. So anyway, I'll be back. And we're back. All right, so today... Um, I'm going to do the fronts of our shoes and maybe the outline. I don't feel very good, but the show must go on. I'm going to get some clean water. Paintbrush is clean and ready to rock. The uh, other sides of the shoes are done. I know they look like crap right now, but they're going to be really cute when I'm done. I promise. If not, I did my best. I'm going to use an Amazon bag for my paint because I used it on my cardboard. All right, so the tops of Melinda's shoes, are these the same colors? Damn, I already had a pink. <sighs> Life goes on. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going to do Melinda's in uh, pink. I'm going to try a different strategy for the front of the shoe. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to learn together. Shoot. 
I have more white paint. No, over there. This is probably enough for what I'm trying to accomplish here, though. I'll say that in the light none that comes out. Okay. Ow, I my foot. All right, so my strategy for the front of the shoe is I'm going to do rows of the colors and then blend them out. For example... One down. I'm going to go ahead and do the outline. I'm going to do purple on the outline. Alright, well Melinda's paint is finished, more or less. Um, so all that will be left is to clean up the bottoms around the rubber and do the vinyl um, and then of course have to seal it. So I'm going to go put these somewhere safe. Well actually, it's probably okay right here. I don't let Oliver in here anymore really. And on to mine. All right, teal. And green. Okay. And white to make it a little lighter. I don't have like a light teal. What do you? Is there any left? I can't tell. Oh, there is. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's like a light teal. Okay. So I'm done with the pinks. Okay. So, yeah, so 
we're gonna do that and then we'll be back okay so these are my shoes so far all at the ocean and i'm gonna do the details oh i need the green the dark green is my least favorite so i'm gonna do the this part. Mm, no, I'm not going to use it at all. Ah, be right back. Okay, fronts and backs are done. Details are done. Oops. All that's left is to clean up the rubber, do the vinyl, and seal them, which is probably another six hour long process. So I'll be back. Okay, so my paint jobs are completely done. Um, now I've got to clean up, um, the paint that's all over everything else. So I guess I used all the alcohol that we had and I don't have acetone. So I'm actually just using non-acetone nail polish remover and I already tested it and it worked really well. Um, in addition to that, I have my, all of my little things printed out that are going to go on these in my little drawer right here, but I'm going to focus on cleaning them up first and then, um, and then we will hopefully do the press. I have not done shoes with my press before. This will be the first time. So I have a little mini one that I'm letting heat up and then I, I have a sheet of Teflon that helps protect other parts. So I'm going to essentially put on the vinyl, put this over it, and go over it like that. Um, it's going to be a little time consuming, so Mike's probably going to, you know, speed through. Which is fine, because that means I can listen to music. Um, so all I did was I poured a little bit into a cap, and then I got like a kind of a small paintbrush. And I'm just going to dip it in there. Just trying to clean these up, because this looks like crap. But I don't want to get it on the actual canvas part of the shoe because if I do that, then it'll, you know, it'll mess up the paint and such. So I'm just kind of in this way. And all I got down there. I'm going to go over it with the paper towel, but I just didn't want to like soak a paper towel and then go over it. I feel like that was asking for a disaster. So here we go. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of wondering if Q-tips might would be better. I don't really want to waste one of Q-tips. Really, bitch. So pink and blue examples cleaned up. They look really good. Um, and I was thinking about this as I was doing it. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend using acetone because I think it would eat away the rubber. I oh, missed a spot. Um, I don't know for sure, but I feel like it's probably not worth a gamble. So if you decide to do something like this, use non-acetone. Okay, so I'm going to stop that part for now, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to do the decals, which is what that's warning me about. All right, so shoes are cleaned up. Um, I'm going to just do a few decals, and then I'm going to um, probably skip to the end. Um, you know, if, if this is one of those things where you guys would really like more step-by-step -step things, um you know, just let me know in the comments because otherwise I'm just going to keep doing it this way. Um, because I mean, realistically, and I, I know we say this in a lot of our craft videos, even if you don't have a Cricut, you can, you can still make shoes. You can still design things. Um, I mean, you can hand, like I have a pair of shoes that an, an old friend of mine, um, made me that are Jack and Sally that she completely hand painted and sealed. Like, 
you don't have to have a Cricut to be able to do fun craft things. It's just, that's, that's what I have, so that's what I use. So, I digress. So for Melinda's shoes, we have two purple M's. Um, for mine, I have two light blue M's. Um, and then I did some, we have some um, pattern vinyl. Um, so for some of mine, I'm doing um, this kind of like splotchy pattern. It's very me. Um, so the skull is going to go on the front of my other shoe where the M&M &M &M is on the other. Um, and then I've got, you know, a little monster for my baby, some stars as my fillers, and then a sunflower. Um, and then there's some more of those. And then I did some in um, teal as well, like a dark teal. So the dark teal, in theory, is going to go on the green part of the shoe. And this cool stuff is going to go on the teal part. Um, and then on Melinda's, I've got mermaid print, and so I've got mermaid tails, cats, seashells, and crowns for hers. And then this is a floral print um, that I'm going to do as well. So my fillers are stars, hers are hearts, and then I tried to kind of get our personalities. Um, I had a shirt that I made that said... Um, half, uh, what did it say? Part, no, half hippie, half hood or something like that. So, um, so that's what the sunflower is. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do, I guess I'll start with one of mine. Um, again, I, this is not something I've done before, so I have no idea how it's going to turn out. We are going to find out together. So first of all, I have to cut all these pieces up. I got my little baby scissors. Um, and just so I don't get it too crazy over here, I will do them in order. So, let's start with my EMs. So they're basically, um, they're just going to kind of line up like this, sort of. Hi, Carlo. As toast for the evening. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I don't know if this is even going to help or make a difference, but I'm just going to shove something in there push the shoe up so that it's like firm and like, you know, just going to, we're going to see how this goes. Okay. And then. I'm going to do them one at a time, strictly because I don't trust myself to do it more than one at a time. So I'm going to put this over it again. This is just to kind of protect the shoe. It absorbs heat really well, so I'm hoping it's going to make a difference. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I can see it a little bit. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see what happens. Okay, so far so good. Okay, it looks like it came off the plastic. Cool. Okay, well, that was okay. We'll see what happens next. I know this, this one's going to kind of suck because of where it is, but that's okay. Thankfully, you can kind of push down on this enough that it's like not the end of the world. The mini is so perfect for this kind of stuff because I'm telling you, like, this stuff would suck to have to do with like a regular iron. Ooh, that one didn't do as well. It's okay, boo. We gotta go back over you. I don't need to sweat it. But I'm noticing that like if it's still hot, if I push on it, it is going down a little bit flatter. So that's good. Alright, so there's my M&M. &M. <sighs> okay, so here's the other part that I'm worried about. 
This is transfer for these printed ones. This is very sticky and I'm a little concerned that it's going to pull up the paint. I don't know. I guess I could make it a little unsticky for a second. I mean, I guess, yeah, and I just don't want it to pull up the paint. The paint was like the longest part. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll do this. I should just lift right off of this. I made it unsticky, so now it's going to be a P-I-T-C-H. Okay. That's cool. I have scrapers. I just don't know where they are. There we go. Cool. So that's on there. DC trash. Put my skull up here, of course, front and the center. So I'm going to put this over. Well, actually, I don't need to if this is on it. I think it'll be okay. We'll about to find out. Please don't peel up the paint. Okay, it didn't. That's so freaking cute. Okay, so I'm going to do a monster and a flower. I was just worried it was so sticky. Oh, come on. I might have taken off too much stick. Okay, and then peel. You little jerk face. There we go. Look. Okay. Gosh. So he's going to go on this side because he's a little bit wider than the other, the flower that I have. Okay. So here we go. Son of a biscuit eater. Okay, well, his foot's just gonna have to live messed up. Sorry. Okay. I think that's probably good now. Yeah, he's good now. All right, you little shed. All right, so now we're gonna do this. The little sunflower. This part's a little tedious. Sorry, guys is part of the process though. After I do this, I'm gonna skip ahead. I'm gonna be honest, now that the flower the flowers, the details are going on, I'm a, I'm a little obsessed. I wasn't sure I was gonna feel that way. Because my paint didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to do. <laughs> uh, oh nope. Alright. It's cool. I'll just hold on here a little. Sorry for the angle. Okay. Let's try and peel from the other side this time. Oh. You're going to be a bag of dicks? Okay. So here's what I'll do. Get all those off of here. If you do have a Cricut and you do press stuff, like, you should absolutely have a piece of Teflon. It is a game changer, I'm telling you. Okay, so we're just gonna peel from this side. All right, we're gonna let it cool for a second. I think I got it too hot. So far, this looks awesome though. I'm pumped. I don't know why the um. There we go. Yeah, I got it a little too hot. That was my bad. I have no idea how the sound is gonna be, but I have to do this in the garage. So. Um, did you guys ever go to school with kids that drew on their shoes or did like stickers and just kind of like demolished their shoes?
That's kind of what our shoes remind me of. Also, I messed up Melinda's mermaid tail. <laughs> like, the vinyl was a nightmare. Like, it just didn't want to work. Oh, well. You know what? You, learn, you live and learn. This one turned out okay. It just reminds me of, like, kids' shoes, which I guess is fine. Okay, so now we are going to take our Mod Podge Matte Clear Acrylic Sealer, sealer okay, directions, use unclean dry surfaces for best results, use at room temperature, shake vigorously for one minute, spray on scrap piece to test heaviness of spray. Hold an upright, hold can upright 10 to 12 inches from surface for first coat. Spray in short, quick mist over entire piece. Let dry 15 minutes in between coats. Um, so fun fact, I am exhausted, so I'm only going to do one coat. So I'm going to show the one coat, and then we are going to be done. Like I'm going to do like my ending in a day when it's over with. I'm going to put something in the shoes to protect them. So that way it can go in front of And we'll be back with the final product. We're going to see how this goes because I think Oliver just got it from his nap. But our cartoon shoes are finished. I did about 5 billion layers of that uh, protective hodge, modge podge stuff. So these are our final product. <laughs> they're kind of cartoony, but they're also really cute. So those are mine. And then these are Melinda's little thing tissues. Um, they turned out pretty good. I had a little bit of an issue with the vinyl. 
that's probably me. It probably didn't have anything to do with the vinyl, but otherwise I think it turned out really good. Um, obviously they haven't been worn yet, so I don't know um, how they're going to hold up, but we'll see. That is my April craft. That was a long one. I'm doing something easy for June. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know what you thought. Um, and if you, you know, how you're feeling about seeing craft videos every other month. Um, so make sure you like the video. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notified when our next wonderful bag of fun comes out. And um, as always, we're on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Me, And we will see you in the next one, you guys. Bye.